Hello and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor, and in this video, we're going to be going over hover effects in Adobe Muse. Uh, hover effects can add a really nice uh, dynamic to your site and add a little more uh, style to your website. So I've created uh, this site here, and I'll Command Shift E to preview in the browser. And it's pretty simple. Uh, when you hover over any of these uh, circles here, they change color, and when you click on them, they change color again. All right, so that adds a little interesting hover effect. And then down here, when you hover over these uh, icons uh, or graphics, they change from circle to square. All right, so again, hover effects can be really cool and add a lot of um, style to your website. All right, so we're going to recreate this whole website uh, from the beginning. So I'm going to go to File, New Site, and click OK. And the first thing I'm going to do is add that image that we saw. So I'll create a rectangle with the Rectangle tool. And then I'll go to Fill, Add Image, and I'll just find the image here. Uh, Let's see, just gotta look for it here. And here we go. And that image is right here. Okay. So we filled it with the rectangle and now we want to scale to, uh, to fill. Scale to fill and position it in the center. All right, so there's our image. And we can make it bigger or smaller, or um, add, make the rectangle bigger or smaller so that more of the image is visible. And now we're going to create another rectangle. And I'm going to fill this with my Muse for You uh, logo text. Okay, and that is right here. And I'm going to scale to fit and position it in the center and then take out the background. All right. So there's that and I'm going to center it right right there. And I'm going to take the stroke off here. All right. So there's our beginning and I'm going to just make sure that it's at the top of the browser. And that's uh, right there. All right. So that's kind of the basic foundation of the site. Now we're going to add our squares and our icons with our hover effects over the heads of all these people here. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a rectangle. I'm going to make it 64 by 64. Um, that just seems to be a good size. Uh, and you can change the width and height up here in, in this tool, up in the toolbar here. And 64. I just unlocked it so that if you, if you lock it, if you change the width, it'll stay the same as the height. If you unlock it, you can change the width and uh, the height will stay the same. Um, but I want to lock it. I want to make them both. Uh, I want to make it a square. So I'll, I'll lock it and make it 64 by 64. Okay. And basically we want to, um, to create this first one here and then we're going to copy and paste over, over all the other ones. Uh, and that's going to make it a little bit quicker for us, and it achieves the, the same effect. So for this first one, uh, it's just a white square, and I'm going to take the stroke off as well. And the first thing we're going to do is, uh, let me close the States panel. So we click on the rectangle, or on the square here, and then we go to the States panel here to the right, and we have Normal, Rollover, Mouse Down, and Active. Uh, I want to use the colors here in, in my logo and uh, use it for this uh, square here. So for the normal state, I want it to be uh, the yellow. Um, so I go to fill, select my uh, eyedropper tool, and just kind of select this yellow right here on the text. And now it's uh, yellow. It seems a little bit dark, so let me try another. Okay, so yeah, that's the yellow. And then for the rollover, I want it to be this blue, so I select Rollover in the States uh, panel, and I go back to Fill, Eyedropper Tool, and then I want this blue to, to be the Rollover, 
And then on the mouse down, I want it to be that green color that we see in the text. So I select the green co color down here. And then for the active, I want it to be kind of like that pink uh, color. So I go to fill, eyedropper tool, and this pink color right here. All right, so now if I preview this, command shift E, I preview this in the browser, I roll over, it turns blue, I click on it, it turns green. Uh, because we don't have this linking to anything yet, uh, there's no active state, but if there was, we'd see it turn into this uh, kind of pink color here that's on the text. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is copy this and pa paste it over the heads of all these people here, uh, minus this one, because it might look too cluttered. Kind of paste it over here and paste it over here paste it over here and paste it here now what you've noticed in the other site the the first site that i showed you all of these were circles so to make them circles here we just uh, select all of them and uh, now that we've added all the states to them we can pretty much change all of these at the same time by selecting them all at the same time. You just hold shift and you select all the squares that you want to change. All right, and now if we go right up here, right to the left of effects, uh, we see kind of like this uh, square, uh, kind of broken up square. And this is what will allow you to turn kind of a square or a rectangle into more of a circle. Um, a square you can turn into a perfect circle, a rectangle you can just add rounded corners. So if I just click here on all of these uh, corners, they turn into kind of semicircles. And you can't really see it now, but all of these squares now have a semicircle uh, on the, like, um, it, they have rounded edges. So they're not like um, perfect sharp edges, they're rounded edges. And if we increase the corner radius right up here, right now it's at 10. If we set it to 100, we get a perfect circle. All right, so now we have circles over all of these people's heads. All right, and so now what I'm, what I'm gonna do is fill these, uh, because they're rectangles, I created them initially as rectangles, then I turned them into, into circles by adding uh, the corner radius. I can now fill all of these circles with uh, icons or images. So I downloaded uh, an icon set from flaticon.com and you just type in anything. You can type in music and you'll get a bunch of icons with music or um, you know computers and you'll get a bunch of icons with computers and you just click on them and then you can download them from here and pick which format you want to download them in. Um, so I've already done that and I have quite a few icons. So the theme for this site is kind of like, you know, finding your passion or, you know, Muse for You lets you design a website for many different ideas that you might have. So I've selected a few icons. So I'll select uh, this first circle here, go to fill, add image. And if I just go to the folder here, hover effects, and I go to PNG, here are my uh, PNG icons. So I'm gonna select, uh, let's see, the musician first. And he is, he's always the hardest to find, but I know he's in here. We have a saxophone, there he is. All right, so there he is. Uh, now he's in um, that circle there. I go to the next one, I go to fill. Oops, click on the next one. Fill, add image. Uh, we'll pick this artist here. Go to here, fill, add image. We'll pick, uh, let's see. Um, it was, uh, let's do this kayak person. All right, go to fill, add image, and we'll do a pilot. Here we'll go to fill, add image, and we'll do someone with a, uh, a good idea. Where is that guy? Sometimes it's kind of hard to find these people. Um, do, 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 do. There he is. All right. You probably saw him before I did. All right. And these icons are 64 by 64, so their original size is pretty good. I don't really have to change the 
um, fitting or the position. All right, so yep, there's that one. And here we'll add image. We'll add this businessman. And then we'll go in here and we'll go to fill, add image, and we'll add the pilot or the chef, the female chef here. All right, so that's pretty much it. If I hit Command Shift E, now every time I hover over any of these um, icons, they they turn um, blue. Uh, you can see kind of we kind of lost the positioning of these circles over the heads. That's because this image is 100% width. We don't want that. Uh, and if we hit Command Shift E, um, that's better. But to match kind of this image here, I'm going to make the browser fill uh, black. And I'm going to take uh, the border, the stroke off the image. We don't need that stroke there. All right, there we go. We hover over all of these uh, icons and we get from yellow to blue. And then I'll just create this last part down here. Okay. And I'll add a few. Um, rectangles or squares. So I'll create one square. I'll make it uh, 150 by 150. Oh, let's unlock it there. 150. All right. And then I'll copy and paste this. Uh, actually, let me just create one first and then uh, yeah, let me take the stroke off here. Let me add uh, an image here, an icon. So we'll do the artist and up. Oh, Let's try that again. Uh, I've actually downloaded another uh, icon pack that's a little bit larger. Uh, skill to fill, scale to fill, and position in the center. All right, so there he is. We we'll put this one in the middle. All right, fill. Uh, let's add the musician, and then we'll add it here. And we'll add uh, the chef. All right, so there we go. And I kind of did that wrong, but it'll be easy to fix. Um, so now let's add the same thing here. We're on the normal state in the states panel. And I'm going to go ahead and make the normal state. Uh, we go to fill, color, eyedropper tool. We'll make the normal state blue. Then we click on the rollover state. We make the rollover state uh, this uh, green, and then the mouse down state will make it uh, yellow, and the active state will make it uh, this pink color here. All right, so we have that, and so I'm going to go ahead and delete these um, and just copy paste. That way we don't have to um, do them one at a time. We'll just copy and paste this one. All right. And then we just change the fill image. So I change this to the musician and this to the chef. All right, there we go. Now in the first one, um, I had it so that they're first circle. So let's turn these into circles. I'm on the normal state. And if I go here to the corner radius tool uh, right here in the toolbar, just give it some rounded edges and make it a hundred to make it a perfect circle. And now that it's a perfect circle, and then we go to the rollover state. And when it's in the rollover state, we want to make them just sharp edges so that it becomes a square. And in the mouse down state, uh, we when you change the rollover state, it changes the mouse down state. So we have to make the mouse down state again a circle. Uh, not sure why it does that, but it does. And there we go. So the only state that's a square is the rollover state. And if I preview this in the browser, you can see it turns to squares when I roll over each of the images or icons here. Uh, now another quick uh, tool or tip I'm going to give is that you can actually even change the images on rollover. So if I go to fill or if I click on the rollover, click on the square, click on the rollover state, go to fill, uh, image and I'll change this to uh, let's see uh, let's change it to yeah this or this kayak person right here all right so you can see that the normal state has the artist the rollover state has the kayak person 
and the mouse down state again changed as well so we'll have to change the mouse down state to the uh, artist again all right so roll normal state artist guy set rollover uh, kayak person and mouse down artist guy so if we hit command shift E and you see we roll over and it changes the image um, so you can do a lot with rollover images just remember the states panel right over here um, so you select your element or you know your square rectangle and then go to the states tool and you can change all these states and have a really interesting website okay so that's it for this video thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video